What's up everybody, Ricky Kruth here. Welcome back to my channel. So I wanna hear from you guys right now in the comments if over the last week, your real estate market has started to surge. If we're starting to see that surge happen in particular markets. Now it's not gonna happen in every single market at the same time. As of right now, there's 39 uh, states who have reopened the economy to some extent. So it's kind of moving in stages here. Not every single market is gonna, is gonna react the same way to this. But a couple weeks ago, I did the video on the fact that I believed that the real estate market is going to surge as soon as they open the economy. And that's what's happening right this second. So let me give you a little bit of my stats. Over the last week, um, I've gotten called by a barrage of buyers looking to do stuff. They're looking for certain kinds of properties. They're not necessarily looking for stills or, or deals. Some of them are, but not all of them. And this weekend, okay, I sold five properties, put five properties under contract. One was a condo we listed for 530. We had multiple offers, okay, within 24 hours. Another was a beach house for 1.15 million. We got a full price offer within 24 hours. Um, two of those, two, two more properties were my personal properties. One was a flip. I've had it listed for about a month and a half and we finally sold it uh, yesterday. Also, a condo I bought maybe seven years ago, bought it for $60,000. Um, just put it under contract yesterday for one thirty-eight. dollars Listed it this week and put it under contract this week for $138,000. And I also put another condo under contract for $250,000. So there's definitely a huge wave of activity, at least in my market. Okay, I'm not saying this is for every market around the country, but I'm getting so many messages um, and DMs and text messages and emails from agents all over the country and even in other countries um, that are telling me that their market is on fire, that they're getting multiple offers, that they're getting a surge of activity, which is exactly what I said was going to happen. Now, keep it in mind, as I said this was going to happen, I also said that I expect this to be a couple of weeks okay, of this surge. And then what happens after that? Who knows? You know, it could it could die off. The market could go could crash. It could go down. It could stay the same. It could continue surging. No one knows. No one can predict it. But I just felt like there was going to be a lot of pent up demand. Inventory is so low. Interest rates are so low, and everybody has a feeling that the virus is going to pass. I believe that that is a fact. That this is going to pass. Now. We also have the argument of unemployment is so high, you know, highest we've ever seen. Um, we also have the fact that a lot of people are, are you know, pushing their mortgages off for later, uh, losing jobs, and so on and so forth. Uh, you know, companies' earning reports are, are garbage right now and going to continue to be garbage. They're going to take the economy a long time to get back where we were um, in terms of all of that. So the future in terms of what's going to happen by the end of the year or going into next year and how long their recovery is actually going to take is yet to be determined. Okay, so so that's fine. Okay, we're going to handle it um, exactly the way that we need to handle it to capitalize on every single opportunity. So the facts are this closings are not going to stop. Okay, even if the market gets as bad as it's ever been, closings are going to continue to happen. Okay, prices are going to adjust in your favor um, down to a point where buyers are still going to be buying. Okay, what does that what does that tell us as real estate agents that that there's still going to be transactions? Okay, so we got to stay out there and continue hustling, continue trying to create those relationships, maintain those relationships, see what we can do to help people on a large level and scale our business. Now, what I want you to do right now is I want you to go to your MLS and I want you to start researching everything about the market, pending sales, closed sales, new listings, the whole nine yards over the last week, over the last couple months everything. I want you to know exactly where you stand in your market moving forward. And I want you to realize how strong the market is right now, considering the situation. If you want to believe it or not, I don't know, but the real estate market is surging right this second. 
and it's going to continue to do so. And if you haven't been doing what I've been telling you to do for the last two months and sitting at your house, grinding away, making those calls, trying to create those relationships, seeing what you could do to help people and building your database, you're not going to reap the benefits of this incredible market that we're fixing to be into. And if you haven't been taking advantage of the opportunity of us all sitting at our houses and people just sitting around waiting on you to call them and the greatest opportunity in the history of real estate to, to call people and check on them, that's okay. You can start right this second and feel good about yourself moving forward and just do it every day. Stay busy, stay productive, and build your business. Your business is built on people and trying to help people. Why not get out there and do that regardless of what the circumstances are? Okay guys, thank you so much. Click the like button if you haven't already and tune in tomorrow because the National Association of Realtors is gonna come out with their first quarter prices. Okay, their first quarter housing report, okay, with average prices. So I'm really looking forward to what those numbers are. It's not going to tell us the whole story, of course, because January, February, half of March was before all this started, but it's going to tell us a little bit. I'm really looking forward to later in the month hitting those April numbers. Okay, we're going to see the, the April pending sales um, and the transaction reports. That's going to be really telling to where we are because April, as you all know, was the scariest moment uh, of this pandemic so far. Not to say it couldn't get worse or better later. Who knows? There again, I'm not trying to predict. Um, I'm just trying to make you realize that it doesn't matter. And all we have to do is stay busy. Let's get it. Boy, think you need a life for the ideas. I'm in the splash zone with the brain waves. I shoot for stars up in my aim is straight. I lay in the sand, in the 